Hello again. I'm John Harwood. I've been in mortgage industry now just a little over 40 years. What we do as far as making and working with the home modification programs is very important that you get it correct. Actually about 90% of people that go out on their own and try to do the universal loan applications and get everything together fail to get modifications for one reason. That's because they do things incomplete or not correct. I'm going to go through what's called a universal borrower's assistance form. Now the one that I'm going to go through right now is similar to the regular um, assistance form, but this is a special one if you have a Fannie Mae or a Freddie Mac product. The first thing on it is it tells you your loan number, which you have to find, which you can find on any piece of paper given to you by the bank. But you have to have every one of these boxes marked when you're going to go for a modification. I want to keep my property. Uh, the property is my, my primary residence. Uh, my property is currently owner-occupied or rented or vacant or whatever. There are boxes that you have to fill out. And here's your borrower's information, your social security number, date of birth, phone numbers, everything else. Now on the Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae, which is called the Form 710, here you list your properties and what you want to do with it. It's a property listed for sale, blah, 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 it goes down through there. Um, is, there uh, is it for sale by owner? Every box has to be checked. You have to make sure that they're checked. Because what will happen is you'll send this into the bank for a modification and they'll reject it for insufficient information. You have condo or home association fees. They need to know and they need to know the monthly amount and who they are paid to in their address. They also have to be current. You cannot have delinquent homeowners association fees, especially when you're working with a government loan for two reasons. Number one is the bank cannot do a modification if you are delinquent on the HOA at time of modification. The reason is they're in first position, which means they own the property should you fail. And so if you're delinquent, the homeowners association files a lien on that property. They cannot modify your loan at that time because they will actually be in what's called second position. Homeowners Association would actually have a primary because of the modification. So it's very important that you know if you have an HOA and that they're current. And then when you get done, HOA means Homeowners Association. If they ask you if you file bankruptcy, then you have to go through your monthly expenses. And what they do in the monthly household income is that goes from your gross and anything like SSI uh, assistance that you get, unemployment, Everything has to be in the total gross income. And believe me when I tell you this, you have to be very honest and upfront because you have to verify this. Now on your household debts, again, it comes down, it asks how much your current mortgage payment is, and if your property taxes are escrowed, you just tell that, or if you pay them by yourself, you have to verify that. Everything on this page has got to be verified. If you get child support, okay, if you lease a car, if you pay the HOAs that we talked about before, mortgage, other mortgage payments if you have a second, and any other expenses that you may have, and you have to total that out. On the other side of it, you need to have the amount in your checking accounts, savings accounts, CDs, stocks, bonds, anything that you own needs to be listed. And again, this has to be listed and verified because they're going to ask you for your bank statements. Now they're going to take your application and they're going to compare it to your bank statement. So you have to be honest and open with them about this stuff. It will not work. There is no hiding anything when you're doing this. You have to be very honest and open. And then it says, do you earn wages or are you self-employed? You definitely want to fill that out. If you're self-employed, you need a profit and loss statement. And if you're not, and then it asks you a whole bunch of serious questions that every one of you need to read and understand. Also, you need to know when the hardship began is why you're trying to get a modification. And you need to know whether or not that is a long-term, short-term, or medium-term hardship. 
and then you need to explain it unemployment and it tells you right on the application what you have to have for documentation for instance you had a death of a spouse they have to have a death certificate that's that's a fact you've got to have it you've had a business that failed they got to have the tax returns from the year before they have to know exactly what's going on also you're going to have to provide them with a copy of your taxes for the last two years minimum if you have business taxes and personal taxes you have to have both you have to have your bank account statements for three months if they're personal or business also then you have to sign an affidavit and an agreement of acknowledgement saying that everything that you've told them is true and correct now there is a thing with the 710 and 710 for Freddie or Fannie Mac Fannie Freddie Mac or Fannie Mae loans, you have to have a 710A, which goes with it. It's an extra page, but if you go to their website, you can pull these forms down that I'm talking about. But make sure that you include the 710A. Unlike the regular RMA or a regular modification package, you have to have that extra page. 